Hello guys and welcome back to the Crying Tune Free SDK tutorial series and in this video I'm going to be covering how to move parts of the terrain. You'll probably notice that I haven't got my typical map o uh, uh, open that I usually have uh, and usually demonstrate stuff while I just try to build up something. That's simply because I accidentally deleted my Crying Tune installation so I lost the map. But anyway this map will serve the purpose and will work perfectly good. Over here you can see I got a sort of like little cliff face that kind of pops out with a whole bunch of vegetation on. So you just may want to try get something together, some, uh, something similar to this, just for, uh, you know, experimental purposes. So let's just go ahead and try to move it. So if I go ahead and go into the terrain, move area, then over here we've got a few little tools. There isn't many parameters here which is a good thing, it's a very simple, quick and easy process. So, up here we got select source and select target. I'm pretty sure you should be aware of what those would be, but I'm going to explain it anyway. Source is going to be your start point, and then target is going to be where you're going to be moving it to. So, to move a terrain, we can use a little brush to select an area, which isn't so good. Simply because it's a little too big and would probably end up moving the entire island. So, let's just scale this down a little bit. I'm going to change this to 100, by 150, by 150, and I've got a nice little brush going on here now. Let's just go ahead and change this back to 100. Just want to get a perfectly sized brush. This should be a little more adequate. So, let's just go ahead and click to select that as my source. And now I'm going to go ahead and select my target. I'm going to move it all the way over here. There you go. Uh, as you can see here, we got our two little brush uh, areas. And one of them is higher than, than the other, so you may want to try to avoid having that, as the terrain itself will get raised simply because the second box is higher. So I'm just going to move this down a little bit. And yes, you can move these with the transformation tools, which is uh, which is great. So you can just do anything you like. Uh, in regards to scaling and stuff like that. So, let's just go ahead and check out what these do. Over here we've got only vegetation and only terrain. If we leave these default, it will move both vegetation and terrain. However, you can choose one of these to move only the vegetation, which won't come out so good, or only the terrain, which is what I'm going to be using at the moment. So, let's just go ahead and uh, do a quick copy. Copy is going to allow me to pretty much essentially copy and paste part of the terrain. Whereas move will move it is going to be like cut and pasting it. So let's go ahead and press ignore. Boom, we got a uh, copy. Oops. So let's move it over here. And yeah, we have got our little island that's sticking out. Let me just move this a little bit over here. Move. And there we go. We've got the perfect exact shape that we was aiming for. The reason why this is a little bit raised is simply because my uh, uh, source is into the ground a little bit. So let's just go ahead and click move again, ignore, and boom, we have our island perfectly fine. So uh, that's pretty much all I want to do in regards to showing you how to move different parts of the terrain. It's a very, very quick and simple process so you might want to try that out just to get a complete general gist of things and just play around with stuff however you like thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video goodbye